I salute you, our dear viewers. Um, my name is Joshua Weisman, teaching the above mentioned subject, which is social studies. Uh, it's going to cut across P5, P6, and P7. And the topic of discussion was, is, the topic of discussion is the scramble and partition of Africa. The scramble and partition of Africa. You when you hear the word scramble to students of primary six, it looks to be a little bit new, and the partition at times looks to be also it's a new vocabulary. However, we are going to digest all of them, and by the end of this lesson, everyone will be able to define the word scramble and to define the word partition. There was a time when, Afri when European countries were struggling to come to Africa and get colonies, and the time came, they had, when they came, they had to divide Africa amongst themselves other European countries who were superpower countries by then under uh, colonizing. By the word scramble, another word we can also define it as struggling or fighting or rushing. Then partition comes from the word party, dividing. Another word to mean partition might be divided, is to divide. So from those, those same words, like partition, that is dividing, and scramble, struggling, we, there we get that definition. Let's start and see what was the meaning of the word scramble, and scramble for Africa, or scramble, or partition of Africa. Let's begin with the word scramble. Scramble. This was the struggle or fight or rush of European. countries to get to get colonies in Africa and then partition this was the Peaceful division of African of African countries among the European among the European spa powers. Those are the definition. Scramble, this was the struggle, or rather fight, or rush of the European countries to get colonies in Africa. Then partition, this was the peaceful division of African countries among the European spa powers. Let's look at the examples of countries that scrambled for Africa. Examples. Examples of countries that
crumbles for Africa. This, the examples of these countries, why European countries, countries from Europe, they came to Africa and their major aim, they wanted to get colonies in Africa. The examples of these countries are that came to get colonies in Africa. They were so powered by the we have Britain. Portugal, France, Italy, Belgium, Spain, and lastly, German. These are the examples of the European countries that came to get colonies in Africa. They wanted to come and scramble and partition. They rushed to come. They struggled to come to get colonies in Africa and party and they divided themselves. These are one of the countries. Reasons for the scramble and partition of Africa. Reasons for the scramble and partition of Africa. Reasons for the scramble and reasons for the scramble and partition of Africa. These are let's understand why these European countries came. For, to scramble and partition East Africa amongst themselves. What reason number one? They wanted. They wanted to get raw materials to to stop. Slave trade. Slave trade. Number three, to invest their surplus capital. And number three, they came to get land for settlement. Then number four. To get land for settlement. Settlement and lastly, to get market. To get market for their. Goods. These are one of the reasons why they are for the reasons for the scramble and partition of Africa. Why these countries, the one I have mentioned, they rushed, they struggled to come to Africa and get colonies. These are one of the reasons why they came. Before, after, before they are coming, all of them, they wanted to come. In that process, 
there was a great possibility for uh, what to happen. How was it solved? It was solved under this point of discussion. Dabalini. Dabalini. Conference. Dabalini. Conference. Of eighteen eighty four to eighteen eighty five. The Bahrain Conference. This was the conference that was held for the peaceful division of African countries among the European superpowers since they were a greater, a big possibility for war. Bali is the capital city of Germany. Bali is the capital city of Germany. Can I start by and say Bali. Is the capital city of German. And conference is a meeting. So the Berlin, it was a city, even of still Berlin is the capital, still the current is the current city of German, where this conference or rather this meeting was held. It was chaired. It was chaired by Otto von Bismarck. Bracket Chancellor. Chancellor von Otto Bismarck is the one who held this conference. And in his conference, these were the countries, these were the countries that participated in the Berlin Conference of 1884. This was the conference that, in this conference, the following countries, the one I've mentioned that scrambled, the seven countries were the one who participated in that Berlin conference. And we see that each country took over. At least a country in Africa has they had planned. So the Berlin conference was chaired by this man, Otto von Bismarck, the former Chancellor of Germany. They always ask, name the Chancellor of Germany. An activity can be one define the following terms one scramble Roman two partition then to write short notes on Otto von Bismarck. Bismarck. Countries that participated. These are, you can attempt to these two questions. One, Scramble for Africa, define the following terms, scramble and partition, then write short notes on one photo, Bismarck. My dear learners, because of time, allow me to end here. I wish you the best through this festive, this, through this pandemic period, which is not present. God bless you. Stay safe. Thank you for listening.